This is Mr. Babbage. He owns a bar. In earlier times, he enjoyed tending the bar himself. Last Christmas, his mum bought him a wee. Since he enjoys playing wee more than working, he isn't spending much time at the bar any more. This is why his mum bought him a service robot for Christmas. His name is Shaker. He's an all-round service robot with some amazing functionality. Some of the things he can do include recognizing faces, recognizing places, picking up bottles, and transferring virtual money to his owner's account. The problem is that Shaker does not know when to use which skill. Mr. Babbage could hire a bartending expert to program Shaker, but that would cost more than he can afford. So, instead he decided to buy Shaker an inexpensive, ready-to-use reinforcement learning module. As in all reinforcement learning scenarios, the task is specified implicitly through the means of a numerical reward signal. Shaker receives rewards or punishments based on the actions he takes, and his goal is to wisely choose his actions so that he maximizes the overall sum of rewards. Defining the rewards for the bartending task is easy. Every time a customer pays, Shaker receives a reward equal to the amount of money paid minus the amount the bar had to pay for that drink. Since Shaker is a general-purpose robot, he knows nothing about the specific task of bartending initially, so he starts off by randomly selecting among his limited set of actions. For Shaker, this means a lot of punishment, a lot of pain. However, all this pain is not in vain. It provides Shaker with useful experience which he is constantly learning from. Shaker uses a well-known reinforcement learning algorithm called Q-learning. Q-learning will enable Shaker to decide what action to select in each situation. In reinforcement learning, we have the notion of states, which basically correspond to situations. Q-learning also uses the concept of a value function. The optimal value function tells Shaker for each state S and action A, how much total future reward he should expect by executing action A in state S, assuming he behaves perfectly from that point onward. For example, the optimal value function for the state, in front of customer, bottle in hand, and the action, deliver drink, is high. After delivering the drink, Shaker only has to collect the payment in order to get a nice positive reward. Once the optimal value function is known, action selection becomes easy. Shaker simply has to select the action with the highest value. Let's see how Shaker would learn the optimal value function. Assume that the value function is initially set to zero for all states and actions. This means that Shaker randomly selects among his actions because the value of all actions is zero. But imagine that, after a lot of random walking around, Shaker ends up in the state in front of customer, debit card on table, and chooses the action, accept payment. Upon taking this action, he receives a positive reward. As a consequence, Q learning will increase the value of action, accept payment, and Shaker will be more likely to select this action in the future. Using Q learning, Shaker learns about more than just immediate rewards. For instance, when taking action, deliver drink, in state, in front of customer, drink in hand, Shaker receives no immediate reward. However, after taking that action, he ends up in the state, in front of customer, debit card on table. He already knows that this is a good state because the value of action, except payment, is high in this state. So he learns that the value of action, deliver drink, should be increased. In this film, we left out many technical details about Q learning. You can find these in textbooks and course notes. Also, this is only the most basic reinforcement learning setup, as it assumes that Shaker already possesses a wide array of useful skills, but we can still be proud of what Shaker has achieved using his very simple algorithm. Look at him happily pouring drinks and making tons of money. Plus, most importantly, Mr. Babbage is happy as well. Oh, Shaker, you've been working on your value function, haven't you?